So today we're going to talk about antioxidants and how to boost your antioxidant levels. Now, just so you know, your body makes antioxidants, okay? They're called endogenous antioxidants. And also, you can get them from your food or supplements. That's called exogenous antioxidants. Now, why are these antioxidants so important? Well, because they actually neutralize something called free radicals, and they neutralize oxidants that can oxidize and create a lot of problem in your body. So they lessen the amount of damage in your cellular machinery, including the DNA, okay? So if you have damaged DNA, that is going to shorten your lifespan so you won't live as long. You could potentially get a disease, develop cancer, and also have a lot of other complications from the disease, from all the collateral damage. So an antioxidant basically donates one of its electrons to this free radical. A free radical is an unpaired electron. So if you envision this little plate spinning with two electrons that are nice and balanced, but it only has one, it's like going crazy. It's a radical, it's going around and creating cellular damage. Your body will donate an electron to balance it out. So this is no longer a free radical and it's chilled out. But here's the problem. Now that antioxidant becomes a free radical. So what happens is it borrows an electron from another antioxidant and so on and so on. And this is why antioxidants are in networks. And another reason why you should never buy and take a synthetic antioxidant, like they have synthetic uh, vitamin E or A, if you're taking those, especially in higher amounts, and thinking you're getting benefits from the antioxidants, realize that they're just individual um, antioxidants. So when they donate the electron, they themselves become a free radical. So you're safe if you get these in like whole complexes that come from food or just get them from food itself. So one of the most powerful antioxidants that your body has is glutathione in the liver. And it's sulfur-based. Here are some foods that can help provide the raw materials for that antioxidant. High quality beef, fish, chicken, definitely cruciferous vegetables. Radish is very high in sulfur. Garlic is very high in sulfur. Onion, very high in sulfur. Spinach, avocado, asparagus, all have massive amounts of antioxidants. And selenium, which is the most powerful trace mineral antioxidant. You get that in Brazil nuts, fish, seafood, sea kelp, organ meats. So you need the certain trace minerals to help uh, build up your antioxidant um, networks. Now, antioxidants also are a part of the vitamin complexes. So you have ascorbic acid as part of the vitamin C complex. You have tocopherols as the antioxidant part of the vitamin E. Now with vitamin A, you have the beta carotene part, which is the antioxidant. Vitamin D acts as an antioxidant. B1 acts as an antioxidant. And believe it or not, ketones act as an antioxidant in your body. I don't know if you've heard of uric acid. Uric acid is probably the most powerful antioxidant in the blood. Okay, it protects the red blood cells from oxidizing, but it also causes gout if it's in certain amounts in the wrong place. So if your kidney is damaged and you're not able to get rid of it from the kidney properly, it can end up in the big toe. But I do wanna say that out of all the antioxidants in your blood, over 50% of those antioxidants are uric acid. So uric acid does help you in certain ways. Uric acid is also vital in protecting the central nervous system. And it's also very beneficial in helping decrease the collateral damage that occurs in Parkinson's and even MS, and even after you had a stroke. Even the structure called the hippocampus needs uric acid to protect it. And so many people consuming a high carb diet, for example, are getting all this oxidation from the glucose which destroys the hippocampus and their memory starts to go. Um, and also their spatial memory. They're, they can't recall where they are in time and space. So they end up 
looking for their car, where did I park my car, and they have a very difficult time of finding things. Uric acid has some benefits as an antioxidant. We have a couple things we can do. We can start eating foods with higher amounts of antioxidants, uh, the cruciferous vegetables, the vegetables in general. I always recommend seven to 10 cups per day. Some people can't do that, do what you can. But you can also take supplements like concentrated wheatgrass juice powder or garlic or onion. There's just a lot of different antioxidants that you can take, but just make sure they're actually uh, from concentrated food, not a synthetic version of an antioxidant. Some other things you can do, keep your stress down because stress just oxidizes the body like crazy. High levels of cortisol will basically destroy the body. Also, getting enough sleep will increase your antioxidant network. Exercise will stimulate more antioxidants in your body as an adaptive uh, process. But hands down, the biggest thing that will increase your antioxidant network is fasting. Intermittent fasting and periodic prolonged fasting. When you fast, your genes flip over into this survival mechanism and the body as a defense mechanism starts creating all these antioxidants in certain networks to increase your longevity. And also parallel to that, you have all these different repair actions that kick in to start doing the repair. So you have a protective aspect and you have repair. Even when people get cancer and they have to take chemotherapy, fasting will increase the antioxidants will to decrease the oxidative stress. So oxidative stress is not having enough network of antioxidants and having too much oxidation. All right, guys, there you have it, and thanks for watching. Hey, we're back. With another amazing recipe. No grains, no sugar, totally keto. There's no suffering in keto. Absolutely not, Karen. And it's an immune system builder. Absolutely, you have to check this out. I think you should hurry up, watch the recipe, and make it yourself. It's just so easy to be keto. But is it simple? It's super simple. We hope you enjoy making it as much as we are enjoying eating it.